Well, this here is uh, Fred. He's our, our bird. He's, he's real proud that he's he's, uh, he's not going to be uh, you know put in like an oven. He's going to be uh, he's going to be deep fried in this sucker. Yeah, get me some more of that oil. Haven't seen that much oil since that uh, college party I went to. <laughs> It's Retro Replay. We're in the basement. Uh, we're back! Drew, we're back. We're back. I'm very excited about today. I, I am too. Today is, it's a banner day uh, on, on so many levels, uh, but it's Thanksgiving. Yes. And, you know, mo most of the time we, we, we do like we run an episode or, you know, best of or something. like. No, no. This year we're in the basement. We're celebrating Thanksgiving in a big way. We got the whole crew here. Um, we we got a very special thing happening out back. Uh, can I can I just jump right into that? Because I'm think very excited about it. I that. think you should because it's awesome. Why am I so excited? I'll tell you why I'm so excited. Anthony DiBiase is here. He's one of our own. He ships all the product to you. He does a bunch of other things, but one thing he does that I have never done, Drew. Yeah. And this is probably old hat for a Kentucky boy. <laughs> we are deep frying a turkey illegally right out back behind uh, uh the retro replay studios <laughs> yeah. uh, fingers crossed it, fingers crossed yeah. um i don't know if you've seen some of the videos of what happens uh when people uh deep fry a turkey incorrectly um can we just pop a couple of those up real quick just yeah. just throw show me one or two steph r run some of that Oh my God. Oh, that guy's house burned down. Dude, I'm just hoping. <laughs> I really want something like, bad to happen out back. No, who can't? No, I do. No, I want Anthony to be okay. Not, Second degree burns only. Maybe that's the worst thing that happens. But that. if something like that happened, oh, we'd no. blow up the internet. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> poor Anthony. What's wrong with me? What's wrong know. with me? I do. I want that to happen. It's, it's like either we get a, we get a, a great turkey. A deep fried turkey that's going to be delicious, or Anthony dies. Those are the, the yeah. <laughs> Either way, we win. I think. Interesting. I asked him what you do to prevent that, and and it's very it's very strange. Uh, it's it's uh, a juxtaposition. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good word. Look it up. Yeah. I don't know what it means, I but I think it, it applies here. You want to take the turkey. You get it as dry as you possibly can, in order to make it as moist as it possibly can be. Hmm. That seems. Yeah, that's counterintuitive, pretty, right? Yeah, counterintuitive. Is that what I said? Juxtaposition. But that's juxtaposition. Hi, I've been drinking. <laughs> Welcome to the program. Uh, no, we're, we're 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 deep frying a turkey. Yeah, and I, and we got some side. We're we're going full out. This is this is, we're in, with our retro replay family. What could I be more thankful for? Well, I'll tell you what I can be th thankful for: the topics and tangents of the day. Drew, let's get into it. Thanksgiving facts yeah. uh, for uh, all everybody, uh, including uh, those of you overseas who have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, um, like, uh, dear Pagan, uh, Thanksgiving in Ireland, a lot of people don't know, is called Thursday. Um, <laughs> Sarah Hale. Do you know who that is, Drew? No. Well, that's of course you do. You wrote these notes. He's such a liar. <laughs> uh, she's considered the mother of Thanksgiving because she once gave birth to a turkey. Yeah. And no, no, no. I made that up. She convinced Abraham Lincoln to make it a national holiday. Apparently he listened to her. Maybe yeah. she, she could have told him not to go to the theater. <laughs> but <laughs> Wow. Wow. Too, too soon? Too soon? Yeah, right, hashtag. exactly. Well, I think the she wrote that number one hit, um, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sarah Hale, mother of Thanksgiving, convinced Abraham Lincoln to make it a national holiday, wrote Mary Had a Little Lamb, and yet... Um, Mary oh. didn't eat a little lamb. She had a turkey. She eat a little turkey. Yeah. Interesting fact. Didn't know this. Turkey, the first uh, meal eaten by uh, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, uh, when they went to s outer space. I, I like this. Um, you'll love the Drew, Drew soup soup fact. Uh, I'm hoping it's not a new <laughs> thing that we do <laughs> oh, on this show. Oh, uh, soup fact: Campbell's makes forty percent of its total sales of cream of mushroom soup, gross, uh, for the year leading up to Thanksgiving. 
uh, they, so 40% of its total sales for the entire year, yeah. the year leading up to Thanksgiving, on cream of mushroom soup. And most of that goes into green bean casserole, which is literally looks like dog throw up. Like, you know when your dog eats grass? You know what your dog goes out there and it eats grass and they're like, yell, 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 yell. They, yeah. they, what happens is your, your aunt or whoever's in charge of the green bean casserole goes out there, picks that vomit up, puts it in a casserole dish, sprinkles some slivered almonds on it, and they bake it. And then they give it to you. It's delicious. Um, it's disgusting. <laughs> Um, <laughs> random, random story. And what's crazy about the cream and mushroom sales is when the pandemic hit here in like March, right. um, and we went, we went to the grocery store to like stock up on supplies, like everyone else was doing. And we went to the soup aisle, and no shit, every soup was gone except cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom was like, Do you know something? even in a pandemic, people were like, oh hell no. <laughs> That's actually true. I, I actually could back that up. Uh, where I live, that was the only one. Yeah. And I was like. No, I'd rather starve. Yeah. I'd rather starve. It's like, oh my gosh. That's it, it's like, it, no, I'd rather starve. That's, that's, <laughs> it's just awful. That's our topics and tangents. Um, that's pretty good. Time for the rant of the day. All right. All right. We got here to, to do our Thanksgiving uh, episode today. And um, PJ, the clueless Canadian, has set me up for Christmas. And this is something I see in stores. Like I saw at, at Halloween decorations were like in the store when they started putting up Christmas stuff. Why do, and holidays, why do we, like, why do we do this? Yeah. No, 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 it's not Christmas. I'm with my, you. My family, they're like, hey, let's get the tree. I'm like, tree, what, what, what tree? I, I need my bird, I need my cornucopia, I need my pumpkins, I need my gourds. Mm -hmm. That's another thing we like to play on Thanksgiving. Gourd or sex toy? You guys figure it out. Um, no, but but like we can't be doing this. I can't be jumping into to Christmas and yeah. Hanukkah and all this stuff right away. That's the end of December. I agree. I agree. I, I like when. Well, what's, what's he doing? What's I don't, he doing? I, he, PJ's weird. He's like Christmas starts the moment like November hits like it, November through he's like the longer Christmas is the better and listen I hear that because Christmas yeah. is about joy it's about happiness it's like oh that that feeling right you want that feeling going forever sure I'm like no no I want the feeling to be like like a a, a compressed experience you know but it's hyper awesome you know so it's kind of like yeah, there's okay. going to be a point like where it's just like oh Christmas is forever and be like oh no 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 Christmas needs to be four weeks like the, the day after Thanksgiving to the end of December. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm with that. Yeah. <clears throat> That's fine. But I, let me have my holiday. Now everybody knows my birthday is, is Halloween. It's Halloween. Hey, it's festive. Okay. Halloween should move away from the spooky into the the autumnal, the pumpkin spice lattes, and and you know the harvest and the leaves are changing. Why did I say harvest? I don't know. <laughs> I'm from Ukraine, and I like to take care of American type uh, celebrations. Yes. Sometimes I only beat two wives. I don't know. Uh, that's not Ukrainian. I was, that was a Borat joke. This is my other wife. This is my mistress. This is my sister. Uh, no, I just, I don't get it. We, we just, we slide right into something and, you know, and then and inevitably it's just, give, give, give me, let me enjoy this, yeah. the, the time, especially in California where we don't have a lot of right. change of scenery and, yeah. and, and seasons kind of thing. Um, I remember one uh, Halloween, we got a great big pumpkin, and by the time Halloween came along, it, the, it, it was so hot that that fall that it literally melted and rotted on our front step, <laughs> and it stunk. Yeah. And let's enjoy each moment. We're so, such in a hurry to get places, and I know 2020, everybody's screaming. It's like, oh, I can't wait for 2020 to be over. Let me tell you something. When January 1st comes, when the big ball in New York drops and everyone goes, Happy New Year, it might be the same shit, different day. It's just the calendar. Yeah, Co COVID doesn't give a shit about Christmas or your- Wouldn't COVID, wouldn't it be great though if COVID said, <laughs> like, like it's just a person. Kidding. I wanna say I'm really sorry. Why does he sound like Gary Busey? <laughs> hey, I wanna say I'm sorry for getting you all sick. I'm gonna move on now, 2021, I got another planet to infect. <laughs> um, yeah. But there's vaccines, they're working vaccines, we're doing the best. Uh, I think it's a great time for festive masks. Um, 
I don't know. Well, you know what though? It listen, the set's decorated for Christmas, so you just got to deal with it. That brings me, you know, that that's the thing. Thanksgiving movies. There's only one. It's planes, trains and automobiles. No, 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 Nolan, Nolan. Miracle on 34th Street. It's uh, played every Thanksgiving. First of all, I hate your high voice. Stop talking like that. <laughs> Secondly, um, it has Santa Claus. That's a Christmas movie. I know it starts with the Macy's Parade and the Thanksgiving. I don't care. It's about Santa Claus. What about Charlie Brown's Chris Thanksgiving? There are two. <laughs> Drew's right. There's planes, trains, and automobiles. Absolute classic. One of the greatest ever. Yeah. And Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving special. Woodstock's the little thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to bring this up just for you, Drew. Uh, you found this. It's a recipe printed in 1950 <laughs> Women's Day magazine. Yeah. Uh, this is magic tomato soup cake. This is a loaf cake, like a banana bread, that kind of thing. Um, made with tomatoes, a can of tomato soup, but yeah. has chocolate frosting. It looks like a loaf of bread. What? No, Drew, it's just because it's in a bread pan. It's cooked in a bread pan. That's why it looks like a loaf of bread, but it's a cake. Like right. banana bread is but, not bread, right? But, but why would you make cake that looks like a loaf of bread? Cake should look like a cake. Bread should look like bread. And then why is banana bread called bread if it's not bread? Because it's fucking banana bread. <laughs> it's bread. It's got sugar. It's sweet. It's a pastry. You're like b b zucchini bread, banana bread, pumpkin bread. It's not like I'm going to sit there like, hey, uh, ham sandwich. You want rye, wheat? You're like, you have banana bread? <laughs> right. Exactly. Excuse well, me? But then why don't Psychopath? they call it cake? Like, like this it, is it called Because it's in the shape of a bread. It's cake and a bread. Well, it's this, cake bread. then this should have been called bread. Not I'm, cake. I don't care what it looks see, like. I'm, I'm trying it? to get like, the point there's that there's the a tomato soup in, in a chocolate cake. <laughs> okay, here's a challenge. Retro it's replay. Got the word All you replayers, get out there. Um, pop that thing up again. Take a screenshot of that. Look at the ingredients, you know, and, and slick back your hair 1950s style and, and make that cake. Video it, send it to us. We're going to put it up. I want to know how it is. <laughs> Drew, I think it's time to play a game. Yeah. Let's play a game. Uh, Drew has uh, pulled something very cool out for us today. Um, I, I didn't know. I, I gave you a challenge. Like, is there a Thanksgiving-themed game? Sure enough, not only did he find one, one that I cannot wait to play, it's South Park! Yes. Oh, my God, yes. South Park. I had no idea uh, that, that this was a game, and it's actually... The theme is Thanksgiving. The, the first mission of this game is around Thanksgiving and killer turkeys taking over the town. Mm -hmm. We've talked about these aggressive turkeys that need to be taken down. They do. I, I think even, you know, vegetarians agree. Uh, you <laughs> yeah. know what? Nine uh, out of ten vegetarians. Nine out of ten vegetarians. Like that dentist. Four <laughs> yeah. out of five dentists agree. Yeah. That one-fifth dentist is like, hey, I want all the cavities. Wait, I'm not. I'm uh, shut up. Open wide. Here I come. Yeah, so I, I've never played this game. Yeah. Uh, to the oh. point where I, I, like, you know, the, the friggin' Vulcan. <laughs> You're on the. I, I, was, I, I had this earlier and I was with Drew. I was like, I don't understand. He's like, Nolan, don't you remember? I'm like, it, it's not that I don't remember, it's that I never knew yeah. that this is like. The N64 controller. Set the phasers to stun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is a beast of a controller, man. Fire phasers. <laughs> Who are you gonna pick? Hold on, hold on. This is character. Oh, Kenny, Kenny. <laughs> Whoa, dude, I'm good. Whoa, dude, I'm good. Hey, what's happening? Hey, what's happening? My mom always told me I was cute. Yeah, my mom told me I was cute. cute. Yeah, it's got to be Cartman, is it? Yeah. Is there the only one I do is if I had the choice yeah. of like Randy, who's become huge in South Park. Yeah. Stan. S Stan. Dad, oh my God. Stan! Well, he, he's a... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, look at the size of that turkey. Oh, nice shot. Hey, I saw him with your goddamn snowball. Nice hey. shot, buddy. Yeah, you know what? Because I'm cool. It's, uh, look, there's Kenny. He's poor. Oh, there's, uh... It's Kenny. Yeah. I think I... I wish you could kill Kenny. I mean, I feel like that's... 
Where's oh. the turkey? Huh? Don't go. You can hear them gobbling. That's terrifying. That is like a terrifying sound. Where is Kenny? Did Kenny? you pick him up? Kenny, why are you so stupid? Oh, there he is. I think I'm supposed to. He's... <laughs> I think you got to run over him or something. Like, there you, you got him. Oh, I see. So now I. Yeah, you met you met Kenny. You absorbed him. That sounded dirty. <laughs> I think you can change your your snowball into a yellow snowball. Now, now what does that do? Now, when you throw it, watch this. It, it, it. <laughs> so he unzips his. You hear the unzipping sound, and then all of a sudden his his snowball is yellow. That is amazing. But but, you, but they 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 take a little longer to shoot. Yeah, it's like a more powerful. Because you got to take a leak on them. weapon. <laughs> yeah, it takes a minute. Yeah. You can just hear them. It sounds, it's like in the mist, it's, it's, this is like resonant, or not resonant, this is, is like, it's a, like resonant evil. Where are or, they? Or, uh, uh, it's like silent, it's like the PS1 Silent Hill with all the mist in the town, and you're like being attacked by giant turkeys, and all you have is a snowball. It sounds like Kenny doing a turkey impression. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's blue. I'm the, I'm the yellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a little radar. Oh, wait. Look behind you. That thing came, that thing came out of nowhere. Yeah. That is terrifying. So I think the blue dot Over is here. one of your friends. Um, Over here. I'm trying to get you. Yeah. It's about time you made it. Oh, you got so you got everybody. Now it's turkey killing time. Well, oh, you have unlimited snowballs. Oh, wouldn't that have been awesome as a kid? Yeah. Got to make. I'm getting myself. Am I making everybody dizzy? Uh, um, this prob- stick is really kind of sticky. I want to get that. I wish I could get that. What are you trying to get? I'm trying to get the, just the right amount of... Oh my god. Like, it's an army of turkeys. I mean, after this game, I might be a vegetarian. That is... It, it's just... There's something about that that is terrifying. You know what? Um, we're playing this game, and uh, we also wanted to make this about family. And today, it's a retro replay family. Yeah. So, let's bring in Big Papa PJ. PJ Harzma. PJ, and he's got something. What is this? Not only is it Thanksgiving, it's our 100th episode. What? what? Fireworks. Get out of here. Nice. So you will... Today is our 100th episode, for real? Mm-hmm. Of the Retro Replay show? Yeah, 100 episodes of Retro Replay. This is it. On Thanksgiving. That's amazing. We couldn't have planned that. We couldn't even time that better. That's unbelievable. That that, that's it. a complete uh, dinky. So will you blow it out? Make a wish. The, the cake? <laughs> gotcha. Dirty. Oh my god, I'm gonna blush. Okay, ready? You gotta help with me. Ready? One, okay, two, two, three. three. There um, you go. One hundred. Put that smells down like, there. Yours smells like beer. Well, <laughs> that's 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 how we get by in this day and age. Uh, uh, hundred episodes, buddy. Oh, congratulations. Right, let's go. Buddy. Let's go. COVID knuckles. How are you? I like that. Mm. You worked hard. You worked. You worked, it was a hard, lot of hard work. Hundred so, episodes. This was easy for me. Yeah. You, you guys did the hard work. <laughs> I mean. So, what do you do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Finally. It's just my Truth. my essence allows this to happen. Oh, yeah. There it is. We know all about the essence. Yeah. That's why this matches in the bathroom. Um, Irritable bowel syndrome. I'm sorry, okay? So, uh, uh, speaking of sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, what's with Canadian Thanksgiving being a different day? Can't get on the same page? No. So, Thanksgiving for us... As like, here, it's the start of the holidays, right? It's kind of like it's kickoff holidays. Thanksgiving at home is celebrate the harvest. It's back in October. It's when farmers have all their biggest bounty, and you have a great big dinner, and it's and that's it. it. Has nothing to do with Christmas, nothing to do with Halloween. It's just a little it, thing. It's all not by supposed to have anything to do with. Christmas. Oh, it does here. It seems. <laughs> I kind of like it though. It's kind of like you know, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving. They kind of bookend this. Free for all. So I don't know if you heard the rant earlier, but what the hell are you doing with the Christmas stuff up on the on, in the basement when it's 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 Thanksgiving? I put my Christmas tree up election day. <laughs> that's because that's that makes sense. <laughs> and th- my Christmas village, you know, so I have you a Christmas only have Christmas village. every four years. <laughs> well, I used to leave it up until April, the tree up until April, May, and people didn't like that. Well, they, that's and, a fire hazard. They had an intervention once. They took it down. Yeah, Christmas tree in May is is that's a fire hazard. So pretty, the light is so pretty. And yeah, but it's so. it's 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 weird. It's like it's like <laughs> let it go, move on. It is, it is weird. It's freaking May. Yeah, yeah so it's uh, my house is like all Christmas, all right now, already. Really? It's done. 
See, I'm, 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 I'm just. You have Boxing Day, or is that just in the UK? Boxing Day is a Canadian thing, yes. So <sighs> it has nothing to do with punching people in the face. No, it's a, it's a holiday, and stores will not let you return things, which is stupid because you're supposed to box stuff up and take stuff back. But stores are. They have Boxing Day. That's sales. why they call it Boxing Day because you put things in boxes. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of on the nose, don't yeah, you think? A little bit. <laughs> well, how do you get a thousand Canadians out of the pool? Tell them, get out of the pool. <laughs> I thought you'd freeze it so they would skate. <laughs> skate their way out. Yeah, so Thanksgiving's not a big thing there. When I first moved back, when I first went, because my wife's Canadian too, when we had first gone back, we had just been married, they were like, oh, you know, they live in the States now, we've got to do American Thanksgiving. They don't do Thanksgiving. They're Italian. Their idea of Thanksgiving is extra pasta. So in honor of me, they decided to cook a turkey. Just a turkey. Nothing else, no gravy, mashed potatoes, nothing. Just this great big f***ing turkey and left it for me to eat. That's a good thing, though, because uh, as we're learning today, turkeys are vicious uh, <laughs> fang. <laughs> so wait, let me animals. finish this. So I, I got my turkey and Reese's little sister is there with me and I cut off a slice of turkey. Okay, cool, I guess we'll go back and do what we're doing. And then they took the turkey and put it away in the pantry. They have a cool area where they put stuff. and. Uh, uh, next day, I go, what do you do? You have turkey sandwiches, right? So the, the, I made a turkey sandwich. And uh, I got sick. I got what? really, really sick. And then so I'm, I'm laying in bed. and everybody's I have going so on, many questions, everybody's but going on, Everybody's going on with Christmas and stuff. And they're, and they're like, you know, what, do you, you know what, what, do you, what, what can we do for you? I go, would you want to eat something? I go, I don't know. I don't know. They just gave me a turkey sandwich. Is her mom did make a really good turkey. And so I had the turkey sandwich again. I'm fuck, I'm dying. I don't know which end to stick in the toilet. One minute I'm freezing. The next minute I'm boiling. My mom is calling me going, aren't you guys coming over to our hard place? And I go, mom, I can't walk. I don't know what's wrong with me. I go, I'm sick as a dog. And she goes, what are you eating? I go, nothing, just I can't eat anything. I'm just eating turkey sandwiches. And she goes, well, turkey, what turkey? They, go, they made me a turkey. They go, did they take the stuffing out? No, they didn't take anything out. They left the giblets in the bag inside the turkey. They left the stuffing in the thing. Apparently when you leave turkey in, uh, stuffing inside a turkey, it, it, it creates food poisoning. Yeah. And I kept just eating the turkey sandwiches. It's like Christmas vacation, play it. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. So that's my, Chris, that's my Thanksgiving story of dying, almost dying. That's awful. Oh, food poisoning. Oh, food po- oh my God. On Thanksgiving. Yeah. You, people go, oh, I don't know if I ever had food poisoning. You know yeah. when you had food poisoning. Yeah, you do. Yeah, the worst food poisoning I ever had, I had a bad oyster once. Yeah. And you, you shouldn't have it because it, it, you should, you should. It's uh, not, it's a, not euphemism. a euphemism. <laughs> uh, it is like, a, it's a, um, you should be able to smell them. And this one would, just before it turned, I probably, just as it was sliding down my throat. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it, it spoiled. Oh, the show we should and have. And it was literally like, glup, it like hit the stomach and I went, hey, that's kind of, <laughs> oh. and it was just, uh, all right, you're sticking around for some. Uh, we're going to eat that turkey. We're going to eat that turkey right now. Yes. I can't. Go wait. carve the turkey. Everybody, PJ Harzma. Our, our whole, our whole crew's here. Um, let's bring in Stephanie. Where's Stephanie? Stephanie, our master editor is here today. And she oh, looking festive. You guys just read a high step. Hi. Hey, look, did you know it was our 100th episode? You, you probably did because you I you're, did. Because <laughs> she's the editor. Yeah. Um, why didn't you say anything? Well. You like to make me look more stupid than I already look? <laughs> no. Okay, tell me what you do with all the footage that nobody can ever see. Uh, are you waiting to blackmail me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. There's 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 audio engineers all over Southern California, and you're just one of the, it'll be one of those class action lawsuits against me. It'd just yeah. Be like, but then I can sue everybody else because yeah. it's like, well, that's blackmail it's, and that's it, illegal. It'll go either two ways. It'll either like she'll put the footage out and you'll you'll be super famous, or yeah, you'll go to jail forever. <laughs> How do you decide what stupidity to air and what stupidity to cut? I mean, if I don't laugh at it, it's just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a good litmus test. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I'm just glad that you have a good sense of humor. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, you make me laugh <laughs> so much in those episodes, but. Do you think the stuff that 
is on the cutting room floor makes you laugh more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know Probably. the answer to that. Probably. Probably. <laughs> That's a whole different show. It's going to be on Pornhub. <laughs> Seriously, can fall. we put it on Pornhub? Uh, um, <laughs> so tell me, what's your favorite Thanksgiving? Do you have a Thanksgiving memory or anything that was special? I have a fun fact. I like fun facts. Go. Um, I'm related to people that were on the Mayflower. Shut the shut up. Are you serious? <laughs> what? You're kidding me. No. That's awesome. Most of them died or got, the, you know, <laughs> yeah, along the way. Yeah. He's in a Peanuts cartoon, too. <laughs> shut up. His name is John Howland. You can John Google it. John Howland? John Howland. He fell off the Mayflower, and then they had to go in and rescue him. And <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on like, now. He fell off? He did. You have to understand, Stephanie's like quiet, <laughs> reserved. She goes and she does her editing, especially during COVID. She does it remotely. And it's great. And she walks in here and drops the, some of the greatest facts and bombs <laughs> in the first That's time awesome. ever. So you're related in some way to the, what, the guy who fell off the boat? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, they, they all went yeah. over there. They're huddled. It's cold. It's a dev I, I don't know if you've ever seen the Mayflower could fit in our tiny studio. It's mm -hmm. tiny. Yeah. This little boat just rocking. I mean, just... And, and growing up where I grew up, uh, right near Plymouth, Massachusetts, we used to, it was like every Thanksgiving, it was the, uh, uh, you know, around this time in grade school, we used to go and um, class field trips. You'd go to Plymouth Plantation or, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, the, and they have like a gazebo around a rock. No, that's the Plymouth Rock. That's the one they stepped on. You're like, <laughs> not really by the water. Um, but... Um, and they have like an old, it's kind of like a, a colonial Williamsburg, you know, they mm -hmm. have a place where they show, and this is where they churn the butter and you put your head and hands in the stockade. I, it was brutal. And then how, I, I don't know, maybe how did he trying to get away? I don't know. <laughs> well, they were Puritans and they were like, <laughs> do you know, the, do you know, I, I know a fact about the, the pilgrims. They actually left Plymouth, England. And they went to, uh, I believe, the Netherlands or like somewhere there. And they were so radical, uh, like they're so that Holland, uh, I believe it was Holland. I could be wrong, but it's around that Belgium, Holland, somewhere in there. Uh, Holland, they kicked them out. <laughs> they like, said, you're, you're too out. strict. Religiously, you're too strict. Yeah. And they kicked them out. They went back to Plymouth, got new stuff and then said, screw it, we're going west. And they went across the Atlantic. <laughs> and I think I've said this before, before in Retro Replay, but Plymouth, England still, uh, some people in that town still will observe the American Thanksgiving. Um, I read that somewhere. They may not do it anymore. Huh. Because, I don't know, nobody liked the pilgrims, except John. <laughs> That's why he jumped overboard. He did. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. You guys are too crazy. He's like, I don't like what's being done to me below decks. <laughs> uh, but, but, and they must have enjoyed what they were doing to him because they fished him out of the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God bless him. Um, no kidding. That is a fun yeah. fact. And he's in a Peanuts cartoon, which is kind of funny. How is that? It, like, they, they talk about it in that Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving? There's, well, whenever they air the Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving special, there's always the after episode, mm -hmm. and it was, like, another one. It's not as popular, but they're all, like, pilgrims, and so they're coming over to have the first Thanksgiving. It's not the best one. I, I'm watching but, it, though, and, and they talk, they say, John Allen? Yeah, Holland? we can show it. Oh, that's right. You're the editor. Play it. <laughs> <laughs> you just saved John Howland's life. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he sounded like when he fell over the water. <laughs> I'm in the water. <laughs> I never understood why Charles Schultz made the, the I don't know. adults talk like that. But it's weird because it's the only one that you ever see, at, as far as I'm aware. I mean, there could be other, like, Charlie Brown ones, but they have adults, like, you can actually see. And wow. it kind of throws off the... <laughs> I wonder if John Howland was the one who um, basically gave all the natives uh, diseases. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. 
Thanksgiving downers. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, what? It's it's happened <laughs> hundreds of years ago. I'm sorry. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, well, that's cool. John yeah. Howland, the uh, <laughs> the barrel boy of the the, uh, <laughs> the Mayflower, jump it over, boy. Look it up. Well, very very cool. Keep making me look good. Thank you. You're welcome. It's Stephanie, babe. There you go. How about that? Fun facts we're learning here on Retro Replay. Uh, PJ, Stephanie, uh, let's bring in the man who makes uh, us all sound good. There he is, the man of the hour. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? I, I, you know what? I'm sounding so good. What do you got? What do you I've got? got beer. I've got okay, beer. Okay, so. I've also got my cart because I have to listen while we're doing this. The man never stops working. Okay, sorry. Yeah, nobody else to do this. So, <clears throat> Thanksgiving... Um, my dad gets us all a beer every year and then he's been doing this for quite a long time. So we keep the oldest beer, right? So then every year, then we drink the oldest beer. So I brought 2015 from Trader Joe's. It's actually a uh, Canadian beer company, Unibrow. Unibrow, have you heard of that, PJ? So for guys who don't know, Paul's kind of a beer expert, <laughs> not like he's an alcoholic, uh, who just um, well he might be but we we it's a it's he's a good one it's functioning <laughs> um, nobody really knows beer and it's it's uh, it, it, he's he's brought in some really interesting can I say that yeah it's interesting yeah. beers at times I try to bring stouts because I know you like uh, I do like a stout. Guinness so much I do uh, but this so is uh, this is so you can drink beer that's from 2015 yeah so this <laughs> yeah it's normally my my core's light just goes <laughs> flat by the no way. um two kind of criteria is the higher abv is better like so you wouldn't want to do like a lower abv maybe um ipa or whatever because also the hops what about like a michelob ultra uh no no <laughs> that will taste like vinegar but and also bottle conditioned like, beers like, like it vinegar. doesn't already <laughs> well cheers buddy so yeah cheers so this i hope it's good i hope it's well, good we're gonna it's got a nice bouquet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still good. Mm. What do you think? Reminds me of like a Belgian. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, this this brewery is... Like a um, Chimay? Yeah, th- yeah, th- yeah, th- yeah, because the mouthfeel. Yeah, this yeah. brewery does a lot of... Um, That's pretty A good. lot of Belgian beers. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad it's good. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you for uh, making us sound so good. So you guys got to understand that one of the reasons the show is... Uh, you know, Drew and PJ and Stephanie and Paul, they, they really take care of the show, uh, work overtime. And having, like, a pro sound guy makes, <laughs> I mean, this would be dog shit. Uh, not that it isn't. <laughs> the content's dog shit for what I give you, because right. that's what I'm responsible for. But for what it sounds like, what it looks like, it's all on them. Um and we really appreciate you. No, oh. uh, well, thank you so well, I, much. I, I and we have a, and we have a good time. Yeah, I love being on the show. Um, what was that beer that I, I had one last time we we shot? I brought in a, uh, and it's it probably be good. I might go get some for the holidays. It was a maple. Yeah, that was from the brewery. It's a brewery in Placentia, and uh, it's spelled B R U E R Y. That's uh, that's, stick- that's incorrect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, sticky maple. It was called. Amazing beer, all of the that stuff. My that nickname they in college. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. You guys should try this. I, I can't mm. wait. Sticky, mm. that, that is nice. So yeah. uh, Thanksgiving, where did mm-hmm. you where did you grow up? You grow Huntington up Beach. In? Yeah, Huntington Beach. So what was what was what you do you have any Thanksgiving memories or you have any like traditions? I, that's that's one of the traditions was is the whole beer thing. But um, so you, so I can't really. When think did of you anything. start brewing it then? Did I started brew brewing it. Yeah, I started brewing in 2011, and I started out with just five gallon barrels on the stove, and then I got super, super into it. And now I have a 31 gallon, which is a one barrel system. So 31 Talking gallons. Talking beer, of beer, not meth, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it looks. It's very. Um, Got to ask. There's a lot of science involved. Not quite that much science, but yeah. I had yeah. a friend who 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 did it. He he loved brewing his own beer. Uh, is in Boston, mm. and he made some great beer. And he married. He was Jewish, and he married a, a, a girl who was uh, wanted to be kosher. Oh. And uh, and he was all for it until he found out that that meant he couldn't make beer. And oh. he was looking at it, and she said, "No, no, no. There's a recipe for a kosher beer, mm. and it was terrible." And he said, "Look, I'll do the whole kosher thing with you. I love you. We'll have a family." Um, but I need my beer. So she loved him enough to make that one exception in their 
so so beer can can go beyond. Uh, it, it's love and religion. It it it, it, well, like it meets all the all the all the boundaries. It's like the gluten thing too, where everybody's. But they do have gluten free beer now. So. But is it any good? Honestly, I have, I've never tried it. I've never tried it. You know what? I I actually have some. My wife uh, picked up some. She tried it. Uh, didn't like it. And I said, she said, don't even try it. But I'll, I'll bring it down. We'll have to, we'll okay. have to try it. Okay. That could, that could be a thing. We could. Oh, we could make a fortune if we could make a really <laughs> good tasting gluten free beer. Oh yeah. Well, I've actually made non alcoholic beer. Why? What I, is the I know. Point? Well, that's what a lot of people say. No, I I just love the taste of beer so much. I would if 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 I could get non-alcoholic beer that tasted as good as, you know, a lot of times the higher ABV the better they are, but um, but yeah, so I, I I've made that. You know what? I, I get that because um, my wife and I, my wife she's she's had like um, digestive issues mm -hmm. in the past, with too much sugar, uh, gluten and sugar and stuff like that. She found this paleo friendly wine company, oh. Dry Farm Wines. Uh, and it's lower in sugar, so the alcohol content's a little lower. Right. But it's delicious. Um, and PJ w w will will love this because um, I you can drink a bottle and you're not hammered. Uh, you know, you you you, you will will split like a bottle. You know, and, and it's good drinking and it's, um, but it doesn't it doesn't give you the after effects. There's the, the less sulfites and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I can understand what you mean by by. Even a, even a lower alcohol. That's why yeah. Guinness, I've always liked Guinness because it actually has a lower alcohol content yeah. than yeah. most beers. Guinness was pretty much my gateway beer, kind of. Got was me it? from, yeah, got me from all the, you know, Bud, Bud Light and Coors Light that I drank when I was younger mm. and started drinking Guinness. And I'm like, wow, this is really good. And that kind of led to me liking all the other beers. So. Irishman brought you Guinness at the first one's free. <laughs> yeah, then you're, yeah. Then you're hooked. Well, thank you for bringing this right. up, man. Thank All you for right. making yeah. it sound good, so good. Ah, uh, it's our pleasure. 100th episode. We we, yes. we found that out earlier. And there you go. Uh, now, are you going to have to mix that sound of that clink? Because he probably heard that. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we talked over it. We stepped all over it. Well, that's what we do. Yep. Yeah. Make there you go. Harder. All right. Get them back to making us yeah. sound so good. <laughs> well, guys, uh, we've seen PJ and Stephanie and uh, Paul. Uh, somebody lost the key to drew's cage so that's not going to happen but we have to bring in our other member of our retro replay family who won't be sitting here with me today uh but zooming all the way from thanksgiving in ireland it's pagan hey there hi there how uh, are you i'm good i love the background thank you thank you i paused eating my turkey to Did to you? turn around and have this conversation with you i asked everybody else to leave yeah. perfect perfect now I, I, obviously there is no Thanksgiving in Ireland. <laughs> it is just Thursday, as we say. Um, yeah. But so, um, <laughs> have you ever taken part in an American Thanksgiving at all? I have, actually. Really? Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, in 2016. So it's been a while now, but I kind of I left my job and I was like between jobs, and I thought, well, I'm just going to go over um, to America. My friend lived in uh, Georgia at the time and she was okay. like come over for thanksgiving i thought oh, it's so exciting so yes i have i have taken part in a thanksgiving at a, least once which was like a bucket list thing so okay good. georgia georgia's well that and that's eastern uh, time zone so that's kind of like drew that's kind of like you know the traditional thing so you had all the fixings you have the the, the everything that you is in your virtual background oh. back there you had the yeah turkey and everything it was amazing yeah i just i didn't know there were so many pies um, I didn't know you put bacon with green beans. It was a very strange experience, but it was that's very a, nice. That's a Southern thing, actually. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. wife does Is that. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Basically, down South, uh, they'll put bacon with anything. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> so no, they I, should. I, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 a, good, it's a good thing. Um, uh, uh, the, uh, Americans like their bacon. Um, yeah. Or as they say in the UK, it's actually streaky bacon. Because bacon is That's more right. like Canadian bacon. It's pan. more like ham, yeah. Um, to where yeah. we have that streaky yeah, yeah. bacon is American bacon, except for some reason the Brits don't cook it enough. So yeah. you still see the fat, and it makes me yeah. go, "That's undercooked." <laughs> yeah. That is going to make me sick. So I'll take the uh, the regular. We cook it crispy bacon. in my house. It's all yes. right. Yes, crispy, crispy streaky. All good. It's just too many adjectives, uh, and uh, just <laughs> I need crispy, streaky bacon. Yeah. It's like now I'm d the demanding American. It's like, you know what? Pudding. Forget it. I'll have sausage. So that was good. So you so you did. Do you remember what was your favorite 
uh, part of that. It was really interesting, like, because I had this thing in my head where, like, it would be like a mom and she'd be making everything and she'd everything would be in the oven and there'd be smells all day. And it, it was like that, but almost, um, I didn't know that other family members or friends, whoever were coming for Thanksgiving, they would also bring stuff. So mm. they didn't cook the turkey, like their, I think their grandparents cooked the turkey. So they brought the turkey and then other people brought pies and sides, like side salads and mashed potatoes and stuff. And I didn't realize that. I thought everything would be done by one person, which now I understand seems really unrealistic. No, no, um, that, no, that's not that unrealistic. I love that. No, it, in my house growing up, it was always whoever was hosting it did it all. So what oh, really? you experienced, it was more like a, a, what is it called? Like a potluck dinner. Or people, they, yeah. they may, you know, hey, we'll take on the responsibilities, less work. It's a great idea. But see, like if somebody messes up my, my sweet potatoes, messes up the yams, that's, that's, that's trouble. That's going to be weird. That's it's going to be trouble. I do, I do know that you keep, so yams are sweet potatoes, right? I think so. Well, no? sweet, technically sweet potatoes are, oh. are more yellow or white on the inside and yams are yes. full on orange. But they're the same tuber family. Oh, so, uh, so learned something new here. I don't know. I think a yam has a little more of a sugar content, and it is orange. Yeah. Yeah, I think you cook it with, like, I've seen this, but I haven't tasted it, and I really want to try it. It's, like, with marshmallows on top. Do you have something like that? Yes, yes. What they, what they do is you can, you can slice them up, you bake them with marshmallows and, and maple syrup or, or brown sugar, uh, butter, brown sugar, and then it's covered with marshmallows, and that bakes... And it's really the only way to eat them because that's it's, amazing. Because you, you, it's one of those dishes. We were talking about this all day. That and I never really thought about it till today, Drew. There's so many dishes. Um, like I, I, we never ever roast a full turkey except on Thanksgiving. I don't think you can find a cranberry for 364 days. <laughs> um, stuffing. Maybe you put some with some chicken in a box but you don't do the full because there, there's not a bird to stuff it in yeah which you know so you don't have that yeah. um th this disgusting green bean casserole with cream of mushroom soup that people talked about that should never be made <laughs> and um you know i've had sweet potatoes there's sweet potato french fries uh you can get yeah. a, you can uh, bake a sweet potato but you never will slice it up and do the brown sugar butter and do the uh uh, the marshmallows, except on Thanksgiving. I think it's it's just a day to go, let's just eat all the stuff that we probably shouldn't, but we'll eat it all at once on one day with, mm -hmm. and, and and we'll have witnesses. So with family and friends. Yeah. Um, I like the potluck idea, but I, I do have one caveat to that. Whoever's hosting needs to make the turkey because that is okay. the best smelling Fair. thing in the house. You walk into a mm -hmm. house that's, that's roasting turkey. Mm. Yeah. Make a vegetarian we, I think sweat. The house that I, <laughs> the house that I was staying in, I think they made all the pies. So that was the well, that nicest works too. smell. Oh man. Like pumpkin and pecan. And there was a blueberry pie. And I was like, Oh God, I'm so happy. We and usually I probably do ate that. my weight in food. In yeah. We morning. usually do that. We'll usually do like, for some reason, my wife will get two pumpkin and apple uh, and a pecan, and then there's like six people. Like, okay, but there's four pies, and there's six people, and someone like I don't eat pie. Like, then, then, then <laughs> that's, that's why. That's why I'm just, you know, <laughs> sweating salt like a bullfrog the next day. I'm like, ah. Uh. I don't know why. Do bullfrogs sweat salt? I don't know why. That was the weirdest. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've never heard. That. I don't know what that is. I just, just. Just, I don't know. Just you just look like a you know, like you know when a bullfrog goes brrr, and that thing comes out. Yeah, that's my belly. Yeah, yeah. And it's usually yeah. moist for no apparent reason. Mm. There's a picture. <laughs> There's a picture. Pagan, <laughs> have a wonderful <laughs> Irish uh, Thank Thanksgiving. You. Uh, thank you so much for all you do for us. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you so so much, and um, pros probably because you know it's the accent. Let's face it, our accents. <laughs> That's true. I mean, our accents are terrible. Yeah. I mean, not, none are as bad as PJ's. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but um, <laughs> the Irish one's just perfect. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, thank you. Happy Turkey You're Day. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And also, like, thank you guys so much for everything that you've ever done for me. And being part of the show is, like, effing unbelievable. And um, 
yeah, it would make me cry. But thank you so much. No, there's no <laughs> for, crying. For, there's no crying okay. until you've drank all Christmas. the wine Sorry. on that table. Yeah. Yes. No, oh, we fair, appreciate fair. you. We drunk cry off Thanks, camera. guys. We drunk cry yeah. <laughs> on like a Tuesday after Off camera. That's true, yeah. Cool. On or off. Yeah. We just cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Peggy. Oh, thanks. thanks, guys. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Hey, now it's time for uh, some uh, replayer Thanksgiving stories. We put it out to you guys uh, to uh, tell us some of the, the, the your, your memories that you've had. Yeah. Um, we got some good ones. I, um, I love these. I love this. This is... So, first of all... Um, I want to start with this one. This was actually a, a reply to Jimmy Fallon. Um, Meglin16. Um, <laughs> this is great because we used to do this. After Thanksgiving dinner, we would, you know, cousins and everybody, we'd play games. Uh, and she apparently did. They played a game, but things didn't work out so well for her. Uh, she said, my cousins and I were playing hide-and-go-seek after dinner. Great game. We called it Manhunt because it seemed a little more masculine at the time <laughs> early 80s <laughs> go with it i can go seek after dinner so i went and hid in the bathroom behind the shower curtain great place to hide right no then my uncle came in and was dropping deuces for a solid 15 minutes and i had to stay silent the whole time <laughs> he still doesn't know to this day that is phenomenal <laughs> And the, it, what makes that better is that they never told her uncle. Yeah. And every time she sees him, it's just, you know, <laughs> you know, the noises he makes. Thank God he just, he didn't do anything else. Uh, but, <laughs> well, and on Thanksgiving, I mean, too, that's... Oh, I know, because you know he's evacuating <laughs> a serious it's, amount of food. Yeah. That is uh, not a normal, like... That's horrible. I'm in and out, and <clears throat> that's like, we're going to be here a minute. Yeah. <laughs> that's a light a match. That's like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you take your belt off. Yeah. And you're like, the, I mean, it comes out of the pants. You're like, let's do this. Take your shoes off. You grip the yeah, floor. Yeah, you're, you're there for a while. You're yeah. gripping the floor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you, yeah. That's the kind of deuce when you're, that's the kind of dump you, you have to stretch in the middle of the dump. Uh, okay. Uh, Luis Reza. Uh, our buddy, uh, he said, I learned two important lessons the year the white cheese fondue, white gravy, and ranch dressing were all placed closely together. One, appearances are deceiving, and two, location, location, location. Yeah. That's a, yeah, you can, you can mess up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ashcan, a Ashcan A, um, our buddy, Ashcan, uh, I love this story. So uh, Ashkin says, I worked as a manager at a movie theater, and my mom asked me three months in advance to get off work, but he forgot. I forgot, and I had to work that night. <laughs> this woman. After dinner, she came to my theater with the family to see a movie and brought a plate of food with her. Now you think, isn't that sweet? Isn't that one of the sweetest things she could do, you know, because he couldn't make it? But no. See, she's clearly bitter. <laughs> She then proceeded over to the manager working with me that night, gave him the plate of food and said, I'm sorry you're missing Thanksgiving with your family. If only you could have requested off in time. He refused to share any of the food his mom made. Uh, and it was one of the most gangster things my mom has ever done. It is. She's a legend. <laughs> that's, by the way. that's what a, what a, brutal. That, that is cold. <laughs> yeah. To just, you know, you think, oh, oh, look, she, you know, she, bygones. No, no mothers, <laughs> mo you know, mothers perfected guilt. Yeah. Um, okay. And, uh, finally Charlotte M Snape fantasy. The first time I made Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner on my own, I was pregnant with my daughter, the smell of any poultry made me ill. I spent most of the day worshiping the porcelain god. I came out of the bathroom to find my then mother-in-law trying to put oysters in my uh, dressing, uh, stuffing. For those of you who don't know, it's what stuffing. My hormonal rage made me tell her that if she tried to tamper with my grandmother's recipe, I would show her exactly what Hansel and Gretel did to the witch. <laughs> These are just some of the reasons that my marriage only lasted two years. <laughs> yeah, don't don't mess with someone's recipe. Right, they're doing something, especially if it's if it's handed down. Yeah, 
hey, you know what would make this better? Oh, uh, you leaving? <laughs> yeah, um, totally. Yeah. Uh, that would that would be it. Yeah, there are um, some, some things that are sacred, and I love it. recipes are one of them. Thank you, replayers. Thanks for the stories. Uh, Drew, um, I think it's time to check on the turkey. Let's do what that. What do you think? Yeah. Um, guys, I'm going to go, I'm going to head out, get, get this. We're going on location. I'm going to head out back. Wait, he's here? <sighs> yes, he's here. Oh, I thought we were going to like zoom him in or something. Nobody told Drew, we're not, nobody told Drew that. No one that, tells me anything anymore. No, he's here. Oh, he's here. And we're going to go check on our first ever uh, deep fried turkey. Um, let's go. Let's do this. Hey. Hey, all right. Want to take a look? Yeah, yeah. All right. Check it out, guys. It's working well. We're on schedule. Want to take a look? Woo! Oh, buddy. Now that is my first ever deep fried turkey. Never, I've never seen this done. Do you do this a lot? <laughs> Once in a while. You're shaking. What, what <laughs> Once in a while. Yeah, we're going to eat you good. Guys, Anthony and, and, and DiBiase. Italian. Italians can cook and cook anything. I'm not even sure that's a turkey. <laughs> but hell, you can deep fry a turd and now I'm gonna eat it. Uh, that's true. How long does it have to be in there? Uh, about 45 minutes. If uh, It's about 12, between 12 and 13 pounds. So 350 degrees, 45 minutes, you're golden. How, how much per pound? How many minutes per pound would you say? Uh, be, uh, about three and a half, three minutes per pound. Nice. So how much? And, and, I mean, this. Is, so you got like you got the you got the hook, you got all this. Stuff. Oh yeah, you got you got to have a thermometer. Wait a minute, hang on. You got your thermometer there, and then that's for the that's for the turkey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's I used true. that earlier. I just want to check for COVID. And this is for the oil. Negative. That's for the oil. And this, but but you don't put this in the oil, right? I mean, this. Uh, no, that goes in the turkey. Oh. Want to try it? Yeah, let's let's. We're gonna take the turkey's temperature. And it, now this is not rectal, correct? <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go into the, uh, the deepest part of the meat. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be uh, 181. 181 degrees, that is, uh, that's warm. That's 163, 158, 150, no. That looks delicious. Look at this. The muscles marinara over here. <laughs> Put that thing back in there. Let's cook it. <laughs> Hello, children. Hi, chef. How's it going? Bad. Why bad? Oh, wait, you see that red dot on the radar? Go follow the. Yeah. Go to that red dot. It's right in front of you. Mega turkey number two. Get him. Yellow snow, that bastard. Thing popping up. Turkey's like crazy. Oh, you got it. A little bit. It's gonna take a lot. Careful, you only got 34 health left. Maybe you switch to yellow or white snow. Don't let him. Don't let him get away. One more hit. Oh, I think you got him. I was trying to get to the white ones. That one turkey, nearly. One turkey just fucking, and I couldn't. The thing is, the down is up and up is down on the thing. Oh man, oh, cats and dogs. I need some cheesy poos. Living Damn together. We guys. Mass hysteria. Human sacrifice. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough. Oh man. Well, I mean, there's, there's a little bit of health. Listen, you got a mega turkey. I feel like you've. I I think I'm full. I mean. <laughs> I think you've killed over like 300 turkeys. I think we're good. I think we're good for turkey dinner tonight. Uh, it's some cheesy poos. Yeah, I want cheesy poos. Yeah, I want cheesy poos. I think the, the dodgeballs might be the way to take out the mega turkey. Taste. And look, you can have a super dodgeball. You see with the, I don't know if you can see the lightning bolt. It's a mega dodge. It takes them a little longer to throw it, but another door. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, no, that's right. It's like now you're in like the maze. God, this stick is just driving me insane. Yeah, I think eventually you get really good at like uh, sidestepping with the yellow arrows. So 
So turn off uh, super, super dodgeball. Use the arrow. There you go. Now you can throw them. You'll throw them a little faster. Uh, I'm going to go with this. So this one opened. Oh, here they come. I'm going to pick you up. Yeah. The blind corner technique. Well played. Came around that corner. They didn't know what hit him. That guy, though, he's... That turkey was their leader. Uh, I think he got turned around. You gotta go the other Did way. I? Yeah. I did. Oh, there's turkeys ahead. Oh, there's a mega turkey up there. I see the red dot. Okay, so I should go to... Keep going. Before he poops out more turkeys. I think you got him, dude. Super ball really is powerful. Super dodge ball is pretty good. Oh my God, you're so they need those cheesy poos before. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I want cheesy poo. I want to kill another big chicken. <laughs> another big turkey. <laughs> Ch chicken, turkey, whatever. Oh no. Is it gonna open for me? Oh shit! Oh, it opened. Oh. It opened to your death. Oh, there's another red dot. I see it. You see it on your radar? Go get him. To your right. To your right. Your other right. Your other. Your other other right. Yeah. Turn around. I don't think you're going the right way. No. I'll be out here. No. You gotta go, you, you, yeah, through there. There you go. Uh. Now, now to your left. There you go. Oh, yeah. Take him out. Oh, shit. Do you have any dodgeballs left? <laughs> that turkey's, is he have a robot eye? It almost looks like a robot chicken. Oh, he's, 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 he's on the run, dude. You gotta chase him down if he gets the I cell I know, phone. but I don't have the. You gotta chase him down. He's running. Oh man, Cartman's slow. Too many cheesy poofs. Oh, he ain't got no time for dodgeball. Where is he? He's running. He's running back to town. How fucking fast can a big chicken be? <laughs> so, so is he back this way? Which way did he go? I don't know. Probably back to the thing. Uh, he's gone on the radar. I don't know. He's got to be back. He's got to be that way. Once you lost sight of him, I think it... Uh, I don't know. And there's no turkeys? Now, now, now I'm worried. Because he'd be pooping out turkeys. Oh, shit. Shit. Keep your eye on the radar. Keep your eye on the radar. I'm going back toward town. Where the hell am I going? I don't know. He's gone. He's, he's like... Eric, it's up to you to stop them. I don't know. I think he got away. Is he that way? Oh, there he is. Take him out. I'm gonna pick you up. Switch to super dodgeball. Super dodgeball that fool. Yes. Yeah, that's it, dude. This Robot is chicken is dead. Yeah, I want you to do. I think, yeah. you got the, I think you got the hang of this, man. Yeah, just in time to stop, because this is crazy. It's like the precursor to The Walking Dead. It, <laughs> I mean, it, this feels like, literally like the zombie, if the zombie apocalypse was turkeys instead of... It, this would be it. This would be it, yeah. I would hope I would have more weapons than snowballs. Oh, 
if they're this effective. Yeah, it's true. They are pretty effective. But what happens when the weather gets warm? What's that thing? Then what do you do? I'm getting so sick to my stomach, and I know everybody else is too. <laughs> It's like, thanks, you've just ruined Thanksgiving. Yeah, let's. Us. if you're watching this on a big screen TV, don't. Yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this, don't. Oh. 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 My, oh. Oh. Dude, he's, he's coming at you, like, straight up. Oh, you got him. Yeah, and he shit some cheesy poos. That's good. I don't know why he would have cheesy poos, but... Oh, finish. I like how there's a finish line, like this is actually- Perfect, perfect, perfect way. I, I, I killed two, three massive turkeys, uh, count, countless minion turkeys. So many. Um, 150 Kids, I'm calling that a, a Thanksgiving win. But do you know who the big winners are? Today's photos on the bar, that's right. We're going to photos on the bar. Photos on the bar, Thanksgiving edition. Up first, for justice, one, three, two, four, that's Tyler L. Uh, Connor Lagan, or Lagan, or Lagan, uh, is there with our good friend Roger Clark uh, from Red Dead Redemption. And, of course, my dear friend Tina Cavanaugh. Um, and there she is on the Hulkulach Glacier. <laughs> What's that? It's, it's, it's F-A-L-L-J-O with the little eyes, but K-U-L, it, but it's Hulkulach, or something, Hulkulach. Look it up. Um, but I looked it up and it's We'll put the we'll put the translation. Right. She's on a glacier and she's got the retro replay shirt. She's representing at all points of the globe. Uh, awesome. We're gonna be sending her to Peru. Uh, to get to it. Uh, so they are our photos on the bar. Thanks for being there. Next up, member shout outs, kids at the get good level. It's uh, Ulta Gamer 2004, that's Justin P. Depp Shep, Emmanuel A. On Dawn, Erica. And C. Williams, Chris W. Uh, at the Get Good level. Uh, next up, at the Drew's Soup level, we have Ashley Solomon and Emma Robinson. And finally, at the Ulta Beast level, Jed Ted, Ashcan A, and... Luis Reza. Yes, Ashkan, Luis Reza, Jed Ted, all at the outside of the East level. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Here is your Thanksgiving shout out. That's turkey speak for it. Ah! But you knew that. The greatest turkey ever uh, possibly cooked. Uh, somebody was bored, decided to stick a couple lemons up under the breast of the turkey, and we got this. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> the Playboy Bunny of turkeys. That is... Um, oh, wow. Proving that um, bigger breasts is the way to go at the holidays. <clears throat> wow. Heard that I'm attracted um, to that turkey? It's like, why is Uncle Herb fondling the turkey? <laughs> Well, because Aunt Joni left him eight months ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like this is like the start of a bad American Pie movie. <clears throat> mm, I, so many possibilities now running yeah. through my mind. <laughs>